Lesson 13. In lesson 13, we're going to cover some additional details about the sit-up guard and the daily keyboard guard. From, from the sit-up guard here, I'm going to work to feed my opponent's sleeve underneath here as I covered in the last lesson. But sometimes when you're working, he's going to strip your grip right here. And as he strips the grip, I'm going to work to feed this in to my underhooking hand here. Once I've got that, I'm going to keep him framed until I'm ready to roll underneath him. So my head is going to go all the way here and I'm going to underhook and spin. Now from this position, I'm in a very good position to pass, pass the guard. Another angle. Screw back just in here. Here, he's going to strip my grip before I can feed it and I snag it. Come underneath and I work to pass the guard. Now, one layer past that is that he manages to strip my grip before I'm able to feed it and I miss it. So we're in this position and he postures away so I can't re-grip it again. I'm gonna take my leg that was framing, I'm just gonna fold in my hand back and I'm gonna stand up and secure the single leg. From this position, my favorite uh, single leg uh, uh, finish is I'm going to come on this side, grab his hip, and chop, and take the side control. Another angle. Here, he strips, postures away from me. I can't get the grips. Hold in, take a single, complete the single leg. Now, one very common reaction that your opponent will have when you try the daily heva sweep and you try the sitting up guard position is that they'll reach around behind your back and they'll back step into the reverse half guard here. And this could be a bad position to deal with. So I'm going to grab behind his, his uh, lapel here. I'm going to grab his leg and I'm going to insert my hook in like this. Now, you can see that there might be a potential for a knee bar on this leg. So if he goes for the knee bar, lock, triangle your legs back up again. Now, get your hook in as high as you can, and you're gonna extend his leg up and come to your stomach. So you kick your leg up, and as soon as he goes to that point of no return, you're gonna take him over. Another angle. I'm sitting up, he grabs behind my back with this one, and he back steps. I grab behind here, like this, because it's going to pull him down. I grab his knee right here. I'm obviously securing. I get in here, and then I lift and take him over. With these additional details about the sitting up guard and the daily heel guard, I think it will make these two positions very successful for you.